Are you ready? Church was so good. So it is the night before Easter. I'm just about to set up everything and I thought I would show you what exactly I put in Phoenix's Easter basket. Honestly, we went super low key. Most of these things we got at the Dollar Tree. This basket was from Walmart and then we did get this little stuffed bunny that doesn't fit in the basket, also from Walmart. <laughs> so this thing, this is from the Dollar Tree and this is just the Tale of Peter Rabbit coloring book edition. It's like the story, but a coloring book because Phoenix loves to color. So I thought that would be fun, super cute. Zane got her this book, <laughs> Never Touch a Grumpy Bunny. It's a lot of like fun little sensory pages. When our next baby comes, she'll probably love this book as well. Classic stuff, She's. I'm not gonna give her all of this <laughs> sugar. Classic chocolate bunny, on a tree. These <laughs> bunny ears, we actually got last year and she wore them on Easter day last year and never again and I totally forgot about them. We actually lost them, but I found them and I thought it'd be fun to put them back. She honestly won't know <laughs> that they're from last year because she was one. And the classic peeps, Honestly, I am not a fan of these, <laughs> but I just feel like it's a rite of passage for Easter. <laughs> and then we just got these random little like carrot chocolates that is just kind of going in the front of her basket. So let me fix that because it was really cute how it was set up and I messed it up just now. So anyway, here's your basket, super simple. That's literally all we got and her bunny. So I'm going to go set that up now. Pause. <laughs> I got to get my pizza. I made pizza for myself, a whole pizza. You want me help? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Oh, are you a little bunny? You got it. Nice. All right, so we are on our way to church right now. Does any other parent, I'm sure most parents feel this way, that is, it's always a rush to get out the door. <laughs> Even though we had so much time, the last like minute to get out of the door always feels so rushed. I'm sure most parents feel that way, I'm not crazy. Maybe I just need to be better prepared. Anyway, we're on our way to church. Zane, my husband, will be watching from home this morning because he came
came home so late last night from work. We usually go to the nine o'clock service with our church. So he's gonna watch online while us girls go in person and Phoenix looks so cute today. I love you. So plan for today, we're going to church. Afterwards, we'll go back home, pick up Dada, and then we'll go grab some lunch as just our little family. And then we're gonna head over to my grandparents' house and we'll have, we always do a big family gathering on Easter. We do a big egg hunt for all the kids. We'll do like a early dinner just because Phoenix goes down so early as I mentioned in my last video. <laughs> on our way home but church was so good you could just feel his presence there in the room it was really cool but our pastor is just so sweet but he's like honest and real the thing I love about our church is it's not like all the good stuff but it's like also the stuff that we need to like repent because we are all sinners and we all will fall short of the glory of God and without him there is no hope but because God brought Jesus, that is our hope. And he paid the price for our sins so that we could be free. Which obviously it's the same Easter story. It's just every year, it's just so good. It's just such a nice reminder. He's rich in compassion, rich in mercy. Why would God send his only son to pay the price he was perfect, he was flawless. Why would he pay the price for our imperfect lives? Because he loves us so much. But there's, it's just crazy. Yeah, we're almost home. It's just crazy how much God loves us. It's been a couple of hours later. Zane just ran into Kroger. We are all kind of bringing something to our family get together. Our responsibility was a meat and cheese platter. And then everybody with kids is coming and bringing just a, like a little bit of candy. So we can all kind of split the load for the Easter egg hunt. And of course we waited to the last minute and there's hardly anything open. She's kicking a lot right Dad now. Dad is coming. Mm -hmm. Dad is coming, he's just in the store. I changed my outfit. <laughs> I that the other dress I was wearing was cute, but it was a little uncomfortable. And so this is this is the exact same thing I wore last year, um, but I have a little different accessory this time. Are you guys cutting the grass? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you want to say cheese? <laughs> you guys are too cute. You're cute and you're cute. Okay. Aw, that's so nice. Oh, and I get a hug too. Thank you. Bless you. Okay, I'm watching. You want some more cheese? Here you go. You're so good. What do you say? 
so don't heavy. Like, you can, I know, right? You can hit somebody and deck them for good. Look at that. Nice. Repping that blank. So we got all the little goodies here. Don't know how this is gonna fit. <laughs> but that is the task. So look guys, we have all of this candy that you can kind of put in. But how much pieces of these? Let's say, how many eggs do we have? Like, I'm gonna lay some of these carrot things out. I open up. Are you ready? Let's go get your ready? eggs. You ready? so fun. <laughs> you got the sweetest face. 